right, traders, let's take a look here. Let's uh, set things up. Head over to Wikipedia. We'll take a look at the reticular formation for a little bit of training and uh, kind of lay the foundation, uh, if you will, for thought process. So the bottom line, reticular formation, all call, also called the reticular activating system. Part of the brain, it's at the base of the cerebral cortex, okay? It's involved in such actions as awakening, sleeping cycle, okay? So, you know, some people pop up out of bed at 5 a.m. every day, part of the reticular formation. If I can't stand getting out of bed until 9, I can retrain myself to get up earlier. Obviously, a little pain in the beginning, then the reticular formation picks that up, and it resets your body cycles. Location and relation, but right here is the key. It filters incoming stimuli to discriminate irrelevant background stimuli. Okay. Now, it's essential for governing some of the basic functions of higher organisms, one of the oldest portions of the brain. But right there is what we want to focus on. Every single day in the trading program, every single day in the markets, every single day a trader comes to the market. And again, I'm telling you, it's powerful in life. We looked last week at uh, an example. You know, Tony Robbins, I shot that over to several traders. Take 30 seconds. I want you to look around the room right now and focus on everything that's blue. And I want you to know, write it down if you have to, and then tell me everything you see that's blue. So obviously we all did it in the room, you know, in this big monster live event. And then 30 seconds, all right, stop. Take a look at your notes. Now tell me everything that was brown. Ah, you got us, Tony. Oh, you're good. We weren't looking for brown, thus we didn't see brown. We told our reticular formation, look for blue, and so automatically it filtered browns and reds and grays and greens and whites and everything else. No differently than if I told you to look for red Corvettes. It was a fact that red sports cars had a higher number of tickets than other types of vehicles on the road. And if you think about it in every aspect of life, okay, when you are focused on something, you see it, and so we want to apply that same thought process theory, same logic. It's a fact. It's reality to the markets. Okay. Now, if I haven't told my reticular formation what to look for, which is what the trading plan does, now I want you to think about goal setting. I want you to think about uh, the Chinese billionaire who sits down and has for, let's just say, 30-plus years written his goals out every morning a thousand times. He's a billionaire. What it does is it creates a laser focus. Okay, now, if we go back and think about, again, how we receive information, how information comes into the brain, olfactory, kinesthetic, visual, auditory, we see it, we hear it, we smell it, we taste it, we feel it. Primary for traders is what? Sight, visual. Okay, so again, one of the keys in strategy development in trading period is what do I see what does it mean and then what do I do based on the meaning that I've attached and again if I see this chart and the way I always do it and the verbiage that I always use is if there were a hundred traders in this room today all 100 traders see the exact same information Okay, so all 18 of you see the same thing. Now, obviously, you're familiar with the Tati, so you know what it means. But let's take 25 traders have no idea why these bars are painting black and gray, have no idea what this is. Okay, they're going to look at it and say, well, you know, those are moving averages, and then somebody is going to try to figure out what the value behind the moving average is. They'll look down here at the bottom, have no idea. And again, for a non-trader to come in and see this chart, it's going to be a ton of overwhelm. And then we have typical reactions to overwhelm. Some fold back inside of themselves. That overwhelm becomes a physical lockup. They just can't do anything. Okay? And that deal I sent out this weekend was a great example of that. And again, actual scientific evidence that the way the pilot responded was because of his training. 
Okay. So when met with a set of circumstances, whatever those circumstances might be, we're going to respond based on how we've been trained. And if there is no previous training, as they mentioned in that article, the brain starts searching for information and it gets caught in a loop. Okay? I've never had to land in a river before. What do I do? Searches for information. And this is going on in those hundred billion neurons at light speed, faster than any computer that we have available today. So when there's when you've told it what to do in this situation, think of any training program you've ever been involved in. Take a think about any skill that you've ever been involved in, ever learned. We train ourselves what to do. When you see this, do this. When you hear this, do this. When you smell this, do this. When you taste this, do this. Whatever it might be. And again, if that is not present, when the human individual is presented with that information, the natural thing that it does is to seek out meaning and then seek out a response based on that meaning. You've heard it called fight or flight. So when we assign value to what we see on the charts, we then assign structure to that, and it works out in what we call an if-then thought process. Okay, so the if then is if I see this, then I think this, do this, whatever it might be. So we have to train our brains. Train the training brain that this means this. When I see this, I want to think this. When I see this, I think this, and then I do this. And again, especially in the beginning of the acquisition of any skill. The reticular formation part of your brain is the part of your mind that responds to outside stimulus, in our case looking at trading charts. We are biologically hardwired to react instantly to things we see and execute, a practiced, well-defined skill. Over time these reactions occur unconsciously and effortlessly, but in the absence of a filter or rule set our brains will skip like a record endlessly searching for the closest possible and best solution. Successful people in their fields most often achieve their success through repetitively teaching their reticular formation centers what they want to filter out, what they will allow to come through, and how they will react to what they experience. Pilots, military personnel, and professional athletes are excellent examples of where we can relate to this level of training and programming of the mind. A trading plan is a set of rules that define how you will engage the market, specifically what you will be looking for and how you will react when you see what you are looking for. Without a thorough trading plan, a trader's reticular formation will allow every candle, every indicator, every available piece of data on the screen to enter into a trader's mind. This overload and endless loop of information paralyzes a trader and puts them at the mercy of the market.